Sir Mike Penny. Well, thank you very much indeed, Dame Rosie, and it's a pleasure to have sat through the committee stage of the bill, and it's a pleasure also to hear the government talking about the advantages that we've got from Brexit. And clearly the government have looked extensively at the taxation system and continue to look extensively at taxation, and in particular, as this, uh, this clause talks about interpretation of VAT. There is an interpretation of VAT in this country which it really massively affects people who are visually impaired who, and also who, perhaps from dyslexia, can't read. There is no VAT on books, but the interpretation from the Treasury on VAT on uh, audio books is 5%. Now, if this interpretation of VAT is going to be taken through as far as it possibly can be, I'm really disappointed that within this structure of this bill, we're not seeing disabled people being protected in a way that they have been for many, many years. I was told years ago when I was the Disabilities Minister this couldn't happen because we were in, inside the EU. And when we're not inside the EU, we can set our VAT rates at what we like them to be. And I think it would be fundamentally good of the government to come forward with interpretation of VAT to say that people that rely, for no fault of their own, on audio books don't have to be penalised with VAT at 5%. And it's just not the visually impaired, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I declare in Israel I am dyslexic, <coughs> so I, I also rely not completely on <coughs> audio books. But people that, for instance, can't read Braille are being punished as well. So while the government continues to look at new taxation rules and new ways of making sure that people don't get around the taxation system. It's clear that they are looking at the implementation of VAT and what better way and a spring present to those that rely on audio books than the Minister to come forward and say he'll meet me perhaps and talk about it more and perhaps even look at the EDM that's down in my name.